In this video, I'm going to be looking at extreme exposures to see how well the Canon 5D4's new sensor performs in general in terms of color noise, luminance noise, and to see if amp glow persists like you would see with older cameras. Now, amp glow itself is light produced by the sensor itself. And this happens with really hot sensors and sensors that are enduring very long exposure times. You might recognize the guidance that you don't use really long exposures with digital sensors. Counter to uh, this guidance, I have taken exposures in the past uh, of 90 minute solid exposures in really cold temperatures and the camera actually performs cameras can perform really really well in the situation an example of this is um, this long star trail uh, photo that i took uh, several years ago using a canon 5d2 and what you'll see with this is that there's actually very little to no amp glow um, there there is some color noise which is to be expected when you're pushing a sensor to this extreme the reason why this was successful is because it was incredibly cold so the camera stayed very cool and that kept the sensor from actually generating a lot of uh, light and and noise and i also did this test with a canon 5d3 on this very same evening and what you'll see is that this is the corrected image of what i got but when you looked at the actual image itself you started to see this pink glow and that is amp glow i was very surprised on this one uh, test between the two camera bodies, again, this being the 5D3 and this being the Canon 5D2, that the 5D2 under similar circumstances didn't show amp glow. This image did. I was very shocked that the newer version of the 5D3 would have poor performance. <clears throat> Well, let's look at what is capable with the Canon 5D4. And for this, what I did was I threw my camera in the freezer and I wanted to see with a 90 minute exposure, even still the freezer was warmer temperatures than these other two examples that I just showed you. But what you see when you zoom in is that you see color noise, but not anywhere near the amount of color noise that we I actually got with the 5D2 or the 5D3. The 5D3 was already much better improved. You can see in these dark corners where there's severe vignetting because of the fisheye that I was using, that there is color noise. In fact, let's go to two to one here so that we can see there is color noise, um, but it's not as pronounced as what you see with the 5D2. When we get to the 5D4, there is color noise, but it's it's much cleaner. Um, granted, this is the freezer test. So the freezer test is uh, cooler temperatures means less uh, heat on the sensor. If we go to a warmer, um, you know, uh, room temperature test, you see much more color noise. If we do this in even warmer conditions, which I had a very hard time getting, uh, the camera actually turned off in these situations. I, I'd estimate that it was probably closer to about 90 degrees. I had the camera in a box with foam packing around it to minimize uh, light leaks. And in this situation, you can see how heat really negatively impacts the amount of color noise that's on a very extreme uh, exposure. Now, granted, most people are not going to be exposing this long on their DSLR, and it's not really advised either. But for me, I like to shoot a lot of night scenes, and it, it is possible with DSLRs to actually get these long exposures. The temperature has to be right, and your camera has to be cool enough. So if we look at the Canon 5D4, even across all of these different temperature tests, they all lack amp glow. And if you if you zoom around uh, the corners of the images and the edges where you might normally see amp glow, there is nothing. Um, whatever Canon is doing with uh, their sensor technology, it's a huge improvement. And I, I would predict at this rate, we're going to be seeing um, some pretty drastic improvements uh, in the next generation or two. I think the the old adage of no longer shooting beyond, you know, five to eight minutes uh, for fear of amp glow or 
massive amounts of noise may be behind us. Of course, it depends on what the priorities of the manufacturer are. But as far as Canon goes, I was pretty surprised at how well the Canon 5D4 performed. I, I'm not surprised that there was a lot of noise when it was a very warm test, but the camera performed exceptionally well in the low temperature test. So if you've ever been interested in doing star trails or long exposures in the field, I think you're going to feel really comfortable working with the 5D4. It, it's pretty impressive how well Canon has improved their sensor technology. So hopefully this test opens your eyes to what is possible with these newer generation cameras. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you get shots using this information, please share them in the comments below as well as with your overall feedback. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really would appreciate it. The channel is All Things Photo. Do check out some of my other videos. I run through other real-world tests of the Canon 5D Mark IV, including dynamic range, ISO sensitivity, um, and of course you just saw uh, my test with uh, extreme exposures and noise and amp glow testing.